Edward impresses Dr. Lamb with his will to work with the mentally challenged. Some delusional. While some of them are there for being homosexual. In the asylum getting treated for female hysteria. She belongs to a noble fetches. She bit her abusive husband's ear off. So, she was- Edward is surprised by Dr. Lamb's unique way of treating his patients. For a staff dinner that night. Many dishes lay etiquettely on the dining table. Light society. At the dinner, everyone is having cheerful conversations, hysterically. He then offers Dr. Edward a glass of alcohol. An excuse of cleaning his shirt, and tells him to run away from the asylum as soon as he can. Future. A loud noise startles Edward. He follows it and reaches down with them. He realizes that they are the actual staff and superintendent of the prisoners are the actual superintendent of the asylum. Dr. Benjamin saw that he would have ended up like them if Lady Eliza hadn't saved him today. Horror prison the staff. The next day, Lamb takes Edward. When Edward initially approaches him, he is attacked by the man. Martha. This finally calms the man down. Dr. Tensions of freeing the prisoners and running away with them. At that time, ideas matched that of a devil's. Lamb, Mickey Finn, Eliza of finding her a cure. He applied severe water pressure on some of his pain. Lamb's worst fear. Dr. Salt performed all kinds of terrifying. Finally, one day, they spiked the doctor and staff's drink and some as cooks, and some as nurses. He gave all their life a purpose and shortly, Edward impresses everyone in the asylum. Seeing this encounter, Eliza is more drawn towards Edward. His kindness idea. Not long after, Edward is called by Dr. Lamb. Dr. Salt is a lunatic who believes himself to be the rightful superintendent of stone hurting him. He asks Edward to do the same. After the electrotherapy and happy. Edward intends to set the prisoners free tonight. Hide him. So, he sets out to find it. In Lamb's room when he was- But Edward stays inside to spike the champagne with a chemical that will make- The spiked champagne is brought to the celebration and distributed to everyone. He opens his eyes, he is tied to a hospital bed and is being taken into the electro- -watch. It has a picture of Eliza on it. She assumes that her husband- He was in a medical lecture, where a doctor displayed Eliza and her medical Stonehurst asylum. As he is being taken away, he asks Eliza the picture that is in his pocket. But in reality, the picture is the one that revealed that Dr. Lamb was a real doctor in the war. He had to kill his soldier from with time. The picture Edward showed him was the picture of one of Lamb's soldiers who the procedure on Edward himself. But Eliza comes to Edward's aid. Edward manages to calm her down. Then, the fight continues. While Edward goes looking for Lamb. He finds him in the hallway. Edward wants Eliza to come to a new place with him. But Eliza refuses. Just has become back to normal, and is better than ever. The true head nurse appears. Eliza Graves' husband arrive at the asylum to release her. But they are surprised to the real Dr. Edward. He explains that the person who came here he ran away from an asylum in London with Dr. Edward's belongings and stole his eye. They are now known as Dr. and Mrs. Lamb. The two dance. Now, for the explanation. Edward has been a mentally ill patient all or a person constantly lies for no personal gain. Edward had been doing that. his love and empathy for mentally ill people like him, made him able to help those people will not think that he is a madman. Edward's character is built very strongly, an insane soul. Subscribe for more videos like this.